As Mitt Romney continues his push for every vote in Ohio, his plans to restore the economy are coming under fire. Two progressive think tanks, Innovation Ohio and the Center for American Progress, are taking aim at his plan. The Romney campaign says they are missing the mark. The think tanks claim the Romney-Ryan tax plan will cost middle-class families $2,000 more a year. Seniors would pay thousands more for health care, students thousands more for tuition, all based on Romney promises. Including several trillion dollars of tax cuts, mainly directed uh, at those making a million dollars or more, uh, a doubling of the outsourcing loophole that gives a tax break for factories that are overseas, his decision to increase defense spending uh, as a proportion of GDP, and if you see what's left in the budget, as so often happens, it's the middle class that's being asked to pick up the tab for that. The think tanks are admittedly partisan and also conclude President Obama helped create 13,000 jobs in Ohio with the auto rescue. And in fact, according to Ohio's own Department of Development, of the 29 major private investments made in 2011, 11 of them were investments in the auto industry that totaled over a billion dollars. On Meet the Press, Governor Romney insisted his tax cuts will help the economy grow. Bring our rates down to encourage growth, keep revenue up by limiting deductions and exemptions, and make sure we don't put any bigger burden on middle-income people. In fact, I want to lower the burden on middle-income people. A Princeton professor also concludes under plausible assumptions the proposal along the lines suggested by Romney can be revenue neutral and keep the tax burden on high-income individuals the same, meaning the economy would grow and taxes would not increase on the middle class. But those who wrote this new study say they used Romney's own promises and nonpartisan methodologies to conclude the middle class will suffer. What I would just say to them is, if my numbers are wrong, put out your specifics and I'll evaluate those specifics. And if, and I would love to see, I would love to go line by line, tell me how much you're going to give to veterans, how much you're going to give to highways, tell me how much you're going to give to K-12 education. But in the absence of that, we have to take him at his word that he's going to keep these other promises and the impact of those promises is unequivocal.